Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to do something a bit different and actually show you our bathroom, our fully renovated bathroom. Um, we did actually complete this one before moving into the house. It just made sense um, to have it done before we we're actually residing here. So we're just going to show you what we've done in this room. So the measurements for this room are 3600 by 1750, which allowed us a perfect 900 mil spacing between each fixture. So we split the room in half. We've got our, I guess our dry area, our dry zone of the bathroom, and then it flows on here into the wet area of the bathroom. The way that we have laid out the bathroom actually allows for this entire area to get completely saturated if we want it to, and it barely will touch the surface here. All right, so as I said before, this first half of the room is kind of like the dry zone of the room. So we've got first off this 900 mil um, wool hung vanity and we've got a mirror, which is also a cabinet. Um, we've got the toilet and we've got the towel holders. So I guess the first thing that most people's eyes are drawn to in this room is the gold fixtures. They are Coroma brushed brass. Um, we basically just went for the brush brass because that's what I liked, that's what we wanted. Um, the other thing that seems to draw people's attention in this room is the mirror. We really like the idea of the arch shape, but also because of the storage in this room just being this 900ml vanity, we thought it would be a good idea to see if we could get the mirror in a cabinet as well. Just offers that little bit of extra storage that a family of four kind of needs. Um, and we actually find that this is this is a perfect amount for us. We have all of our hair and, and like toiletry needs in here. And then we've got our toothbrushes and toothpaste and perfumes and all that sort of stuff in the cabinet here. Um, what we also find is really good is having the wall hung means that we've got the extra space underneath the vanity unit too. So for like kids toys and things like that, if we want to hide them under the vanity, we can do that there too. All right, so the second half of the bathroom, as I said before, is like the wet area. We've got our shower and we've got our bath here. And I think my favorite part about this area is just that you can actually grab the shower head off here and use it to sort of like hose down the kids if they're particularly dirty after playing outside or even just um, after they've had their bath and they've got their toys and things in there to sort of rinse them all off. I think it's a really good feature that we have in this room and really utilises this space so well um, in the fact that you can kind of maintain the other half um, as the dry zone. So I also love the big bath, perfect for two little kids. Um, this is a 1700 mil bath and it is quite large. Um, previously we've sort of had the, the standard 1500. I do like how big this one is, but it does take a long time to fill up. Again, um, I'm going to plug the shower head. That's really good. I kind of just stick that in there at the same time that I'm trying to fill up the bath if I want it to sort of fill up really nice and full and quick. But the reason that we chose the 1700 um, bath in here was just because we wanted to utilize this entire space wall to wall. Uh, and we just feel like that's that sort of perfect way to kind of even make this space actually look bigger by having this huge bath at the very back as a main feature. One of the other things that I love about this half of the room is obviously our herringbone wall here. Um, we do, if you haven't seen in other videos, kind of have a herringbone theme running throughout the rest of the house. So to sort of bring that theme into this particular room, we did the herringbone feature wall too. The other part that I love about the feature wall here is this huge niche. It allows us to put quite a lot of stuff up here. Um, obviously right now it's looking pretty neat, but for the most part we usually have all of our shower gels and shampoos, all that sort of stuff kind of goes up here and we still have plenty of room for anything else that we find we might want to put up here. The other thing that's good about this particular niche is, as you'll obviously see here, we've got the LED strip that goes across. It's just another little feature that we have, I guess, to kind of make this feature all really pop. Having the niche and the LED strip and the herringbone wall, I think it really adds a really nice um, aesthetic element to this particular room. We do actually use this light as a night light as well. We have this one going throughout the night so we don't have the whole bathroom lit up. 
um, but it is just enough at night time to allow for anybody to use the bathroom and be able to find it quite easily and still see everything in the room without kind of blinding them in the middle of the night when they come in here. So the other thing that you might notice in this room, because we do only have the LED light going at the moment, is the skylight that we've put in here too. We do actually have four down lights in the bathroom. But we actually find that we don't really use these lights very often because this skylight just brings in enough light that we can pretty much have no lights going throughout the day. And this brings enough light in that you can still see what you're doing and it's a nice kind of natural light that comes through. The other thing that we like about this skylight is just the fact that it adds kind of that outdoor element. We don't have a window in this room, but you find that you don't really miss it because we've got the skylight up there and it's kind of a nice view to just actually see the sky while you're, you know, showering or in the bath. We get quite a lot of comments on these floors as well. I guess they're pretty unique. You don't often see sort of this light tile in a lot of bathrooms, but we find that it works quite well and that it's actually quite easy to clean because these tiles are so large that the grout lines are really small in them that they're easy to kind of keep clean and almost looks like you've just got one huge tile throughout the floor. So the last thing that I'm going to mention that's probably important to kind of, I guess, your plumber or whoever's doing your bathroom is about the fixtures. So like I said before, we've got Chroma brushed brass throughout the bathroom. It's a really nice earthy colour instead of a real sort of yellowy bright gold, which we think kind of looks really nice. It kind of gives, I guess, a bit of a, like a bohemian sort of vibe to the bathroom that we both love. The other thing that we find with these particular fixtures is they're just really sturdy. You can really feel the quality when you use these fixtures. So that's our bathroom. That's everything in it that is worth talking about, I think. Like if you want to see where we got any of this stuff from, any of the fixtures and that kind of thing, I'll link everything down below just in case you want to have a look at it yourself or buy it for your own bathroom. That's pretty much it. We're really happy with the overall look and feel of the bathroom and mainly the practicality of this bathroom. I was a bit concerned to begin with that it was going to be too small, but we actually find that the 900 mil spacing for each fixture actually is the perfect amount for everything. And a family of you know two adults and two small children, we all fit in here and we can all get what we need to get done and we don't really feel like we're bumping into each other or anything like that. So it works really nicely for us. So if you want to see any more of our videos on how we actually do this sort of stuff or how Jake does it and how I style it, like and subscribe to the channel. Jelly Renault's Australia.